now that is a Christmas song, y'all. That song stays in my mind. Now, when I was young, I didn't really understand this song. But now, when that song comes on, every time I have to sing it. And then this is another song. Santa Claus ain't got nothing in it. Jesus is the reason now. For the season, yeah, yeah, oh yes, he is, oh yes, he is, yeah. Um, I just want to share just some of those songs because I always loved Christmas. Christmas was my favorite time of the year, and I would always hear those Christmas songs. I'm one of those corny people. When the Christmas songs come on, I have to, um, I have to play them. I have to listen to them all the time. I love Christmas. Um, and I never thought that Christmas would become a time in my life when I would feel like sorrow and sadness. And, um, my son, uh, my firstborn actually passed away December the 22nd. Um, and so Christmas has a different meaning now. Um, and it was 10 years ago. So through the years, I've kind of learned, how do I cope with Christmas? Um, how do I still love this day? And I always love the day, just like any child. I loved Christmas because, you know, presents. But I really did love celebrating Jesus' birth. I really did. I was like, it's a big birthday party. We're going to have a good time. And so it's something that I've had to grapple with through the years. And so I had to think about, how am I going to celebrate this day? A day that is right three days after my child died. Um, how do I still enjoy that day? How do I still celebrate his life while I think about my son's death? And so, you know, that's one thing. These holidays are really tough for uh, women and families who've lost a child, brothers and sisters who've lost um, their own brother or sister. And so... What I want to tell you today is don't give up. You know, the enemy is going to speak things and whisper things in your ear. And I encourage you today to make a choice. Make a choice to live. Make a choice to celebrate. And so there are a few things. In my, um, in my book, Semblance of a Footprint, when I went through that loss, um, there weren't as many resources as I would have liked to be out there. And so, you know, God gifted me with these words and these scriptures. Um that I want to share script, scripture with you. Um, you know, I didn't have a book, and so I'm so glad that I can give this book to those who are grieving. Um, at my release, my book signing, I found out that this book is not only a book that will help those who have lost a child, but anyone who may be grieving a loss, loss of a job, loss of a family member, um, but that grief is there. So how are you going to cope with it? And so in this book, um, I do have some scriptures as, as well as, of course, the poems that I've written. Um, and so the scripture says, And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. That's from Romans 8, 28. Um, it's amazing that even in my son's passing, it works together for his good. I would hear this scripture and I would read the scripture. And sometimes you got to say a scripture over and over again until you believe it. The more you say it, the more you speak it aloud, the more it will become a part of you. It will become ingrained in you and you will begin to believe it. And so what I encourage people to do is with these scriptures, um, what I had to do was I had to write them down. I had to write them down. Not only did I write them down in my journal, but I had to write them down and then post them on my mirror. And I had to look at them every day and speak it aloud like God spoke it. Like he said, let there be light and there was light. You speak it and the words become truth. The words become life. And so it's important that we do that. Um, you know, these 
the poems that I have, they take you from every emotion, from the grief that you feel, from every stage of grief, okay, all the way to the anger, the frustration. And thank God he's a big enough God. He allows us to be angry. But even in that anger, we still have to honor God. And so we have to honor that he has a perfect will and we don't understand it. But I can look back now and I thank God for the pain doesn't go away. But you have to think about how can you channel that pain differently? What can you do to honor those who've gone on? What can you do to, um, to remember? Okay, because we can't forget, but how are we going to honor their memory? Um, so this Christmas season... Um, some of the things that I'm doing is I'm celebrating. I'm still going to celebrate Christmas. I'm still going to celebrate the holidays. I'm still going to play my Christmas music. I'm still going to be cheesy and wear my hats. Okay. Um, but I celebrate. Um, I decorate the tree. My son, I decorate it in blue. Um, I, uh, along our fireplace, I have um, stockings for my living children, but I have stockings for my children, one stocking for my son in heaven. And so it's about taking that pain and, and remembering and honoring. So on this day, I want to encourage those who feel like you want to give up, those who feel like, how can I go on without the one that I love? I want to just encourage you today and say, live. The best thing you can do is live. Honor. Celebrate their lives. And if writing works for you, I suggest writing it down. You, don't, you may not know. You may not know that writing doesn't work for you. It really might. Just write. Write what's in your heart. Do what works for you. God will gift you with what you need to help heal you. All right. Um, I just want to say thank you for tuning in to Bless Your Soul TV. Um, this is Carlo Lachelle. Um, you may check out my website, CarloLachelleDawson.com. Check me out on my Facebook, Insta Instagram, and Twitter, at Carlo Lachelle. Um, you may inbox me. My email is CarloLachelle at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Make sure you... Um, Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page, Carla Lachelle. I look forward to hearing from you. And I just want to once again say, it's going to be all right. Everything is working together for your good. You can be like me. I, I went through a test so that I have a testimony. And it is my testimony. And don't get me wrong, I still cry. Crying is a part of it. Give yourself permission to cry. I have a, a poem in my poetry book. That is called How to Mourn the Loss of a Baby that Goes Through the Stages of Grief. And one of the things that I say is give yourself permission to cry. It's alright. It's okay to feel the pain. But then after you cry, pick yourself up and live again. So if you haven't read that, please make sure you purchase my book. It's called um, Semblance of a Footprint. And if you want to know what it's all about. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Carla Lachelle, and um, I have, um, I can put in the description box the link to this, all right? Take care, God bless, bless your soul, and I look forward to the next time. And like I say, have a wonderful holiday season. Make a choice. God bless.